because I'm at the BFI here on the South Bank, not far from where the, where the film was set, in fact. And the cast have been arriving here for the premiere. We'll be hearing from Ray Winston shortly. But earlier today, I caught up with the writer and star of the film, Johnny Harris, for whom Jawbone was a very personal labour of love. He was unforgettable as sexual predator Mick in This Is England 86, and now as troubled fighter Eddie in Jawbone. I'm looking to fight again. Just a one-off. I don't care who I put me in with. It's a story about boxing from an actor who himself used to be an amateur champion. So, Johnny, this is your area. You grew up in this part of southeast London, and this was your actual boxing gym. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, uh, the Fitzroy Lodge Amateur Boxing Club. And uh, most areas in London have uh, a boxing gym, and uh, I was just very lucky this one happened to be mine. And even though he's an experienced boxer, Johnny Harris trained for more than two years with the help of former champ Barry McGuigan to make sure the fight sequences were just right. As with most boxing films, there's a, there's a, a fight within it, and I, I just wanted to get it right, really. You know, I'd seen a few films where I've not quite believed the fight sequences. But it's not just about fighting, it's also about homelessness, addiction and love. This film's dedicated to a man called Mick Carney, who was, uh, he was the guy who, who ran this club for years and years and years. And not only me, but countless boys and, and young girls now, uh, like me, were helped by this man, far beyond boxing. Uh, he was one of the first men to tell me when he thought I was letting myself down. And I didn't want to hear it then, but as you get older in life, you realise how important those people were and how much love and... Uh, care I had around me and so this film kind of is in a way uh, for me in my older life to go back and recognize that and say actually these places are amazing and, and this place here to some people it might just look like an old railway arch you know but uh, to me it was home and in that sense it's more than a boxing film it's a dedication to boxing clubs and youth clubs all over the capital that have helped nurture young people and I'm joined now by one of the other stars of the film, Ray Winston. Welcome to the programme. Thank you. Um, you play boxing trainer Bill, yeah. but you were something of a boxing champion yourself. I don't know about a champion. I, yeah, I, I had a lot of fights. Um, enjoyed it, what I did, but I was never going to be a, a pro. I was never good enough or dedicated enough to be that. But I think boxing kind of um, taught me something else and I think it does for a lot of boys you know maybe one percent go on to be champions or box for titles the other 99 percent if I've got my maths right um, kind of take something else with them you know away from it uh, which is kind of like a respect you have for other people and a good smell and a confidence so when you walk into a room and you're feeling a little bit shy you can kind of stick out your chest and go for it you know Johnny Harris um, described this film as something of a, a love story yeah. between men, between yeah. men who don't actually tell each other that they love each other, but they, they show it. That's what your character does. I think so, and I think if, when me and Johnny sit down and we talk about our trainers of the past, you know, the Tony Burns, the Mickey Carnies, the Billy Alex, the Billy Taylors. These are the guys who trained Yeah, you. Georgie Oddwell, and, and, you know, at the time, they're quite tough on you and they're hard and you don't get much back from them but you, you, you have a mutual respect between them. It's like you walk into a gym and there's a, a world champion in there and you're a novice but he'll talk to you like he would talk to a world champion and, uh, and vice versa you know so that is a kind of a love story in a way that's, that's kind of the way you show um, appreciation for people. Ray Winston I'm afraid we have to leave it there but thank you very much the I film... was rambling when I... No you weren't <laughs> rambling the film is out on Friday Okay hon Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye.